Hello, Terry Britton here. I've got a Logitech uh, webcam and I wanted to show you a few little tricks that uh, that you can pull off with your uh, settings. Uh, one is the uh, oh, the trick of getting this down here if you want this to show up uh, and have this pinned to your taskbar. And I have that and the uh, web device settings available with the zoom. Uh, that's a nice thing to have and you can get that into the uh, pin down to the taskbar by following these instructions here just uh, if this is a Windows 7 of course type the word device D-E-V-I-C-E -E, and you should see right at the top something called device property page component it's the only one and uh, right click on that and select in this case, it'll say pin to taskbar. Mine's already pinned, so it says on pin. But you can pin this to the taskbar. You can pin anything that you can find in here. You can pin it to the taskbar, okay? So that's how I got that to be in there. And uh, that's what this is. It opens this up, okay? Now you also have some things that you can't as easily uh, pin to the taskbar, but you can put the, if you want the webcam software thing, instead of it being in the, down here where you right click, and that automatically puts itself in, and uh, as you see it says Logitech webcam software, and you also have the Logitech webcam controller, so you can get to both of those through uh, through there, okay, so, uh, so that launches this software and gives you the whole thing nine yards. We'll come back to this in a bit. Whereas this one here gives you the little controller. And for a lot of people, that's all that they would need. They wouldn't need uh, this one, which is kind of the parallel, uh, the same thing, okay? Uh, they wouldn't need to have both. But some people like this layout, some people like this layout, and uh, where you click here to get to the advanced settings instead. Okay, so uh, notice that advanced settings simply opens this up. Okay, so if you want to come right to this and have it be in tabs instead, then uh, then you can do it that way. Now, of course, this has the effects and all that kind of cool stuff in it. So anyway, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. And uh, so let's. So I showed you how to get this pin down there. The way you would get the uh, other thing to become a shortcut, like here, this camera helper shortcut, I added that by making a shortcut out of the software I went in. So that's just easier for some people to have that there. Now I cannot, you can't pin that camera helper. Uh, let's, see, let's see, camera help. Let's see, it's, oh, it's all one word. So there's no, uh, there is no piece of software that's pinnable that you can do this with, but you can go and make a shortcut by going into your computer and down here to the program files x86 and down to your Logitech folder. If I can find it, HHAKL, here we go. LWS in down here, oops, down to webcam software. And this is it, the camera helper shell. Okay, so you see that's what that is, camera helper shell. So you simply uh, right click on it, and you'll notice there is no pin to instructions. So all the best you could do is send to desktop, for instance, which creates a shortcut, which is how I made mine. And that makes it so that you can at least double click it right from the desktop and uh, and use it that way. Uh, so, okay, so there you have a couple of different options. You can also uh, bring up the launcher main. This is the same thing as the regular launcher, okay? It brings this up, and then you can get to the webcam controller from that, all right? All right, well, while we're in here, uh, on my camera, you have a couple of different settings, and my camera did not work for me with my chipset at the full 1080p resolution using it with a hangout on air. 
the Hangout on Air software was trying to stream, handle all that encoding and the incoming stuff and all that, in which is a browser software thing, you know. So it was doing all that in the, in the browser, and it could not handle the 1080p signal coming in from my Logitech. So I found out, oh, and in preferences, you do have a setting under Quick Capture that says high quality, medium file size, or large file size, lossless, small file size. I don't think that was the answer for me, though. For me, on mine, I had to go in here to Quick Capture, and it opens up another program, okay? And uh, and it with the program for capturing. So there you go. Let's uh, get to focus, huh? Let's see if I can grab that thing. Here we go. And uh, so we look. This looks very familiar, doesn't it? Except it has also this right here and the ability to choose a different resolution. So you have the max. And I found that uh, HOAs only worked for me. Here we go. HOAs only worked for me when I put it to 720. Okay. So, uh, and of course, the amount of zoom that you have in using this recorder, this built-in recorder, uh, is controlled by the size of this resolution. It doesn't seem to be the case in the regular camera setup when I uh, when I bring up one of the other controls like this one, or especially the uh, the advanced uh, this one here. Uh, this seems to be have its own its own way of thinking. It the zoom works just as much um, no matter what the setting is down here apparently. At least that's the way it seemed to me. Let's see. Put a small 360. Well of course I'm looking at this software so but in in an HOA or well especially in OBS this was able to zoom in this much no matter what my setting was in here. But that might just be because of the way OBS was working. I haven't tried it in a Hangout yet, but I should try it. Try it out. Okay, so yeah, let's go right ahead. Let's go right. Ahead. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Yep. All right. So anyway, uh, it won't save. So that's the thing I was trying to show is that I had to set it here at the seven to seven twenty p in order for my camera to stop stuttering and acting really strange uh, in a Hangout on Air. However, it could have been, maybe it was the setting too. I don't think so though, but uh, maybe, don't know. I, uh, I, I have to do a couple of tests, I guess I should do a couple of tests. But if you want to do a couple of tests, try it one way and try it the other way. If you've been having problems with your camera, the main point is don't send a Hangout on Air, which is only 720p, you know, don't send a Hangout on Air the full, the full thing, the whole 1080, because it's going to have to work to shrink it down to 720. So if you can send it less information, and one way you can send it less information is by changing those settings, okay? Change the resolution, the physical resolution. Perhaps it might be as easy as simply zooming in a bit and making it so that it's less pixels in the height uh, but I'm not sure about that it's may you know whether the conversion is working the same way I have a feeling that when you set this to here no matter what this zoom is it's always sending it out 720p and never sending 1080 which is the height by the way 1080 means the number of pixels 1080 pixels high 720 means 720 pixels high 480 is 480 pixels high uh, when you have this setting that's zoomed in, zoomed out, whatever, that's the most pixels you're sending out is uh, is that number, of height. So that's what it seems to be. Again, we have to, uh, the jury's out, whether it's a combination of these, but I'm pretty sure this has only to do with when you're using this recorder right here, this record button. Whereas this resolution seems to affect more across the board. 
I tell you, this camera was completely worthless to me. It was so dismaying because the first few days I had it, I jumped right in and tried to do a hang on on air and it looked like stop motion. Uh, it was jerky, it, no smoothness to the motion at all. And it was very dismaying. The minute I came in here and dropped the number, everything worked fine. So, so that's it. That's what I'm trying to show. And uh, I think that's probably enough for a short video. What do you think? Okay, so there's 10 minutes. I think I'm done.